Let's get the energy up, ladies and gentlemen. It's in the morning time right now. And right now we want to go in here and we want to check on our new fingerlings and make sure nobody has bit the dust. We know there's going to be a few fry that have bit the dust, but we want to check and make sure our fingerlings are doing all right. So we're going to get in here and um, do some observing and see what the heck is going on. All right. Look what we got here. Let's get this light on. Come on, lights. Okay, so we're taking a look at the fingerlings. Let's increase this flow for this. Fingerlings, everyone's doing all right. Everyone's doing all right. These guys even look slightly hungry as well. We got King Kong. And where's Donkey Kong? Oh, he's hiding down here. You guys can see him down there. He's hiding down there. All right, you see that one right there? See the awkward movement? That one right there is most likely going to bite the dust. Let's see if we can find it. That one's not gonna make it. That one back there is not gonna make it. All right, guys, look who we got here. That was the fish that we saw. It's right back over there underneath the solids lifting overflow. It sucked, kind of sucked in there. Um, and that fish doesn't have enough power to even swim out of that. So, like I said, that one's not gonna make it. We're gonna, man, these fish, these guys must love the camera. That guy's not gonna make it. So he's still there breathing, but we're gonna get him out of there and dispose of him. So that's this guy right here. He's all jacked up. All right. I need this. I need this. And just in case, I need this. All right, I had to grab me a PVC cutter, pipe cutter. I had like two of them and they all got messed up, cutting so many pipes. And what I've been using for the time being, for probably like the past, man, like the past seven months, I've been using a jigsaw. And believe me when I tell you that jigsaw works. But sometimes it's just not, you know, it's just not as handy as the, uh, the PVC pipe cutter. But it's much better for, you know, the larger pipe diameters, like, you know, two inch pipe, inch and a half pipe, you know, things that, the, you know, that little PVC pipe cutter is just not gonna work on. But I was using it to cut half inch pipe, three quarter inch pipe, all type of madness, man. I had to go ahead and get one while I'm out and about. Back in the lab. So what happened is I did end up feeding these guys. This is the next day. This is the second day. Is it the second day? And I ended up feeding these guys in the afternoon. I didn't record it. I was on the move. But you can see that there's still some feed in here. Uh, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, you can see it on the ground right there. That there's still feed. There's um, feces that's on the bottom. All that's on the bottom. So right now it's time to turn on this regenerative blower because we're gonna need extra oxygen in here. All that, the fecal matter, um, the feed, all that's gonna be contributing to oxygen consumption. So we need to add more in there. The stocking density is getting quite high for just the flow here. The, the, the dissolved oxygen that's being created from the impact of this water here, you know, it's not gonna be enough. So let's go ahead and put on this regenerative blower and get some extra dissolved oxygen in here, man. All right. Boom, there's the blower right there. All right. You can see we got aeration. Looking beautiful. Over here. So this is gonna help stir up all those solids along with the fish movement. So fish movement, aeration, the water flow rate, all that's gonna help remove those solids um, out of the system. Now before I get out of here for the night, I'm gonna go ahead and check the pH and I'm gonna check uh, the ammonia levels. I'm not expecting any ammonia, um, but I wanna double check on the pH real quick and uh, verify what it is. All right, so here's the pH. The pH is showing 7.6 on here. 
Now this is a little. This is more. This is uh, has more uh, more of a blue color than this here. This is showing us that the pH is higher than a 7.6. So we're gonna have to use the um, the other part of the test kit in order to find out the accurate value of our pH. So this we know that for sure that this is higher than 7.6. Now with the ammonia, like I said, it's only day day one or day two of the fish. First day of the fish feed, zero parts per million. There's nothing in there, but we'll still check. I know that it's not gonna have any ammonia for the first, we might not see it for the first 10 days. We might not see anything. So we'll just keep testing though, just to be sure, so we can do it right. Now let's grab the high range pH test kit. And then we're gonna go ahead and test it and see our um, exact value for pH. I'm assuming it's gonna be somewhere around eight, uh, say probably around eight, 7.8 to 8.2. It's gonna be somewhere in that range. All right, let's check it, let's, let's check. All right, so we have the test kit and to our amazement, the pH is actually lower than what I thought. Uh, no, it's not, let me see. I would match this one around 8.0. That's what I would match this one with, around 8.0. So, eight is our pH right now. Now, this is fine for the fish, for tilapia. This is perfectly fine. We wanna get this down lower though, once we start getting the vegetables in here. We wanna get this lower, we wanna get this down into the seven range, 7.2, seven, 6.8. That's where we're gonna want it, want it to be at. But this is fine for right now. The fry are doing absolutely fine in here. There was not as many deaths as I thought there would be. I thought there would be much more. There's only one or two fry that died. All the other ones are doing absolutely fine. Let me cut, I'll cut this off so you guys can see it. Let me cut this off real quick. They're all doing fine, look at them. Just loving it. Loving life. Look at the tanks, ladies and gentlemen, after about 30 minutes. With the blower on, fish movement. You can see this tank is pretty much clean. There's still solids floating around uh, uh, in the water column, but all those solids you saw that were on the ground, pretty much gone, they've all been sucked up. It's only been about 30 minutes. If you guys are curious to how that blower sounds at night, this is how it sounds. Right now it's 11.28, almost midnight and we're about maybe about 15 feet away from the the shed keep some light out here so this is how it sounds it just sounds like a normal air conditioning so that's a concern of mine i don't want it to be anything to be too loud to disturb the neighbors the neighbors are over there their house is over there they can't hear it and it's midnight right now so it just sounds like an air conditioner and when i step further back even right here you you can't even hear it so just in case you guys are wondering and wanted to know.